Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans, and today I thought we could mix things up a little bit and talk about functional planning. So this is my current, uh, we'll call it my stopgap functional planner. I have been using this for uh, a little, for about a month. I started in September. Before that, I had been using my bullet journal, and I just decided it wasn't super working for me anymore, and I wanted to try something else for the rest of the year uh, until. I get to whatever I'm gonna do for next year, which right now I'm leaning towards a quail bound planner again for next year as my functional planner um, and something with like a pre-made setup so that I don't have to draw my spreads every week. And I will probably be using some kind of cover so that I still get a little bit of the decorative elements. Anyway, that is ongoing, but for right now, this is what I have been using. This is a leather envelope or a vegan leather envelope from Simply Gilded. This is from the free range box, as is a lot of the stuff in here in my set up is also from that box. It's definitely based on that. So I'm going to show you how I have this set up, what is in my functional inserts that I have in here, which is very similar if you're familiar with my bullet journal. It's just in a printed fashion. And then um, I am actually going to do a weekly plan with me or my little method of pre-planning. These are very simple, simple weekly spreads that I have. So hopefully that doesn't take too long. So if you're interested in seeing that, you can stay tuned. But so anyways, this is a very simple setup and I actually really love it. Um, I miss decorating, but I didn't want to go too all out. So here is what the envelope looks like on the inside. These are actually my inserts, which I'm going to go ahead and um, pull out. So you have, the way that this works is you have a secretarial pocket with a little card pocket here, and then this big slider packet w pocket here, which I is how I keep my inserts inside of this. Uh, and then you have this little card pocket here. So these are the stickers I was actually using from last week, which I will put to the side. Uh, and I'm gonna have new stickers that I'll pop in for this week. I just have a couple of sheets of the paper that came with from the tablet that came with the free range box in. Uh, it's just tucked in here as well, which I just occasionally use for note, note taking or other things. I also have the pen board from the free range notebook, uh, a little cut out from a different Simply Gilded box and then this is something I made a long time ago from Bloomsicle Art that I just have tucked in there as well. This little paper also from Bloomsicle Art and then this is the journaling card from the free range thing. And then these are both pockets that I made with my Fuse tool, which is from We Are Memory Keepers and is my current obsession. So it's like my current crafting obsession is to make like these little pockets I have this little fall shaker bookmark one that I made, which is like just full of sparkles. And I, I just so... I'm so into this this fuse tool right now. So I did a lot of fuse tool stuff in here. So I have a teeny tiny little foil shaker with a Simply Gilded bow, and this bow is also from the Free Range uh, set of seal stickers, and I just have that tucked in here. And then this is some paper that's from like a Michael's $5 Hot Buys pack, and of the die cuts that came with this Free Range kit, as well as another bow seal just stuck in there. And then I basically just did some experimenting. So I have a laminated piece of the, the Michael's paper, fused onto a fuse, which I left like a little bit of it sticking out so that I could tape it and get it into this fuse tool pocket so that it's like glued onto this other paper. Anyway, if you're curious about how to make something like that, let me know and I can do a, a craft with me on that so that it would stick out and hang over like that. And then as well, I have the pen here from the, uh, from, that also came with that Simply Gilded box. So that is just like a little simple setup of how I set up this folder for that. I absolutely love this folder and I really love this size. This is the second time that she um, she did a folder in this size. The, the first one was from the Aloha box. So I just, yeah, I really, it's a really cool size. I think this is so beautiful. Uh, the pen I do take in and out because it is a little hard to get it shut with the pen. So when this stays in my office, I mostly put the pen to the side, but if I carry it around the house, I sometimes put the pen in. So as far as inserts go, I actually have just this back board um, back here to just make a little bit more stability. So this is, this is the same as the cover and I intentionally, originally was gonna make it a cover but I had a hard time figuring out how, exactly how to do that and I decided I wanted like a little bit more structure back here. So I just have this back here. Uh, I do often write in this planner with the with the insert still in. So I just feel like that provides like a little bit more stability for your pen than just having it plain. So that is laminated, um, uh, just like a laminated piece of paper. But anyway, so I have actually, right now what I have is two inserts in here and they are inserts I made myself. Uh, I designed them using the Silhouette software and then I just printed them 
Um, I will link down like all of the papers and everything that I use and all of my supplies below if you are familiar with my old ring setups which I'm not using anymore but it's very similar supply list to make this um, so basically what I did was I made these little booklets this was a total trial and error thing and then I actually hand stitched them so you can see if you if I pull this up super close you might be able to see I don't know I did not do like the greatest job I'm not a professional uh, notebook maker but I did stitch these together which makes them lay really nightly nicely and flat however it takes so long so for this upcoming month I actually just stapled it but um, basically what we have in here is I have a monthly one and a weekly one and then for October I've actually combined them together but I have a few more weeks left in this so this one I have a front cover glued on and this one I just have a back cover glued on so that when I stick them together because it was just getting too bulky to have the two separate inserts and I was having a hard time getting this close so it's been a trial and error anyways I have a laminated cover so that it's nice and protected and everything and that again is from a Michaels hot by sheet and then same as my old bullet journal setup I do line a day memory keeping and that is on the first page here um, and then I have my September monthly calendar this is honestly this is the bulk of my functional planning this is like my I would call this my essential functional spread it is a color-coded guide to everything happening in our month. I always have the same categories. I do change the color coding to like kind of match with whatever theme I'm going for. I didn't even decorate this one. My October one I did decorate a little bit. But my categories are work, home, appointments, money, planner, uh, which is like YouTube social media stuff mostly and kids and other so basically those are my categories and I just kind of break things down into that I sometimes use the color coding during the week but I find that that gets a little bit messy sometimes so I don't always do it um, but yeah that is the basics of my monthly calendar and I just kind of like write everything in I do a lot in the beginning of the month to get that started and then I keep adding to it as the month goes throughout um, and I did like I said print these inserts but I printed them without the date numbers and then and just use date dot stickers to to cover them up and then on the back I have my dashboard which is s similar to the dashboard I used to do in my bullet journal just slightly condensed and I have just like to do's that are just more general to do's work stuff schedule stuff house stuff stuff for next month and like a video list that I keep track of so that is my monthly functional planning setup and then in terms of weekly we have this is this is the week that we're coming into now it's currently right at the beginning of October so this is what this looks like um so the columns are a bit wider than 1.5 uh, which I actually printed it the same way for October but in November I might try and skinny them up a bit so that the stickers fit in like a little bit more nicely but basically this was like based on a layout that I do often in my bullet journal um, and also based on a combination of that and a, a planner layout which is that which I'm thinking of getting for 2022 which is a plum paper planner in the priorities vertical edition so that is like my current top contender for um a 2022 functional planner. I'm just a little bit concerned about the paper in that because I've heard it doesn't sticker very nicely. Um, so I did actually order a notebook from her to check that out. But anyway, in the meantime, this is what I'm doing. Uh, so this is what it looks like blank. You have Monday through Friday with a categories at the top here, which I use for like any appointment appointments usually or things that are like firmly due, stuff like that goes in the top section. Then I have a little section here for work for general to do's and then I do my meals at the bottom and then Saturday and Sunday I just have just set up generally and I just use it for whatever needs to be used and then the top sections I have been like kind of struggling with what to do and those are based on the top sections in the plum paper section in the plum paper layout because I wanted to see if I would you know use those or not and it's been a little hit or miss sometimes I do like habit trackers or like a weekly to-do list um, sometimes I just decorate it so we shall see I do have a sticker kit that I'm going to be using to set this up for this week which I will get to in a second but you can take a look uh, it's currently Friday while I'm planning this and this is what my week looks like stickered um, so far and this one is from this kit is from Stady stickers I don't always sticker in here though this is the week before that I didn't do a stickering spread I just did like a pen and ink spread um, and what I like about this is that you can just do something really quick with just pen when you don't feel like setting this up or when you don't have a lot of time or if it's like a week where you know you're not going to use your planner a ton but you have a couple things to write down but 
on the flip side of that, you can get it more in depth and add the stickers in as you go along. And this really builds over the week. You can see I don't really have like a lot of stuff on the weekend. We do have some plans on Saturdays. So that's kind of the only thing in there for right now. And I didn't even use this box. I haven't used any weekly to do's and it's already Friday. So I'm just not gonna do anything there for that, but that's fine. So anyway, that is what that looked like um, for October. Like I said, this one is also stitched. And then this one, I actually was like, well, I'm gonna keep reusing these covers. So I'm just gonna tape and clip this on. So I actually just clipped this on with a little bit of washi and a little bit of, um, uh, of paper clips, which I have taken off. So I still need this one because I actually have uh, two, I think two more, no, one more week that I have left in here. So for some reason I printed this one when I first printed it to October 3rd. So now I need this one for one more week even though we're rolling over the monthly one. This is all done so I don't need that anymore but I will take the cover off to use um, in the next dashboard set which I made which is October. So I actually didn't um, I didn't print the first page blank to like glue that on so I might have to add one more page to this But basically I really didn't feel like hand stitching this again because it honestly takes so long um, So I just decided to try stapling it and see how it goes and I think it's fine It doesn't it's definitely not as good as stitching it, but it's literally stapling something takes like 20 seconds and stitching it takes like 30 minutes so you know I just didn't want to do it and then I just covered it up with a little bit of washi there as well so I've already started writing some functional things in for my dashboard here for this month and then I do have the calendar which I did in a slightly more decorative fashion um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to like add anything more into the sides here so I do actually have a few things that I need to add in here which I will do you know, as we're setting stuff up ahead of starting the weekly spread. And then likewise, I have, oh wait, did I? Oh no, then, then I have the line of day. I also printed this opposite. I decided I wanted the dashboard first and line of day second. Um, so that's what I did this time. And then I have a plain piece of dark red paper, which I can use for just whatever, or, you know, in all likelihood, nothing at all. But I wanted a space in between where my weekly spread was going to start. Um, so that is where my weekly spread will start for the week after that. And then I went ahead and printed out these for the rest of the month of October so that when I get to November, I can do it all in one time and print one whole November booklet. Um, and hopefully by then I will, like, be a master of putting these <laughs> these inserts together. These are large, they're like not quite seven by 10. Um, they are like 6.75 by 9.75 is how I cut them. So you have to print one sheet per paper, uh, which is why you end up needing to staple or sew them together because you can't just like have them be folded the way you would in like a smaller size TN notebook type thing. So it is like a TN style notebook. It's just that I have to, you know, stitch it or staple it together. But anyway, so that's what we're working with here. Um, so I am gonna grab, I am going to, one attach these together so that I have one kind of cohesive notebook to stick in here and then I am going to do my weekly plan with me in here which will be talk through because that's how I used to do all of my functional planners um, and I do have a sticker kit. This is B177 from Planning World. This is from, I think it's from last year. I have a stockpile of B6 kits from throughout the year from Planning World, Paper Muse Crafts, uh, Sadie Stickers, and a couple other shops that I just never used because I stopped doing stickering spreads at some point. So I have not bought any new kits in this size for this year. I've also been using like leftovers or like grab bag sheets in here. I'm not planning on buying any new stickers for in here for right now, but I am using it to work through some of the things I have in my collection because I firmly believe we should use what we have. So I do have a little bit of washi pulled out as well, though I don't know if I'm going to use it. Um, and I I am going to use these stickers to get set up for the week and I like to stick to only stickers in the kit. I'm not bringing in any icons or doing anything fancy like that and then when I'm done I just tuck these in here that way I can keep adding more stickers throughout the week which is how you know I won't I don't lay like full boxes down um in dur like during the pre-planning I just put in the things I know for the week and then I go ahead and add this stuff in so if you want to stay tuned for how I keep adding to the planner over time you can check me out on Instagram because I always post this in my stories and as well if you want me to do another video more of like a plan as I go video let me know in the comments below because I'm happy to try and film that as well but anyway I'm gonna move this stuff aside and then I'm gonna jump in 
Okay, so I got the cover attached. I did end up having to just staple a page right to the front, but it's okay because it actually hides the staples better now. So now this runs, I've got like the dashboard and the calendar, and then I've got the second booklet just taped to the back of it while I'm still using this for one more week. And then after this, I will take this back booklet off and just tape the cover on to the back of this other sheet. But so anyway, let's get started with the functional planning. Actually, one last thing before I do that, I have this Simply Gilded one, which is from the last library, uh, Simply Gilded box, and this has my whole pen case in here. I have like all of my, uh, my fine liners, white out, eraser, and all of the highlighters that I use as well, which are all zebra mild liners, and I also have the brush pens of those to use um, when needed. I have been carrying this around less with me now that I'm just doing mostly pen spreads or pen sticker spreads, um, but I do always have this out in my office and available if I need it or can carry it around with me. So we will need this a little bit for the setup, so I have this off to the side here. So first up on the October monthly calendar, I actually have something that I need to add in and I will need yellow for that. It's uh, a show and tell day at school and I just want to put that in my calendar so that I don't forget. So I'm just going to, usually I like to write before I go ahead and do the pen part and then I will grab a 03 mild liner to do this, although you can use the the other pens. I actually have been really liking writing with the Simply Gilded pens lately. Um, and this is my son has a orange themed show and tell and he is really excited for show and tell because they didn't have it in his class last year because he was in the, like the two-year-old class and they were in having show and tell and he used to cry every time his sister it was her show and tell day so he's super excited for show and tell so that is really fun. Okay, so that is all the stuff that I have to add in there. I'm definitely gonna have like more dashboard and stuff to do eventually, but I'm just not sure right now. So anyway, on to the weekly, which I have clipped on over here. Uh, you can see the difference between the binding and the stitching. I'll have to decide next month whether I think it's worth it or not. Um, so this kit does have date covers, so I'll probably just use them just because I have them. I don't always use them though. And this week is very exciting because uh, it is the first week of school where there are no planned days off of school in advance. Which, think about that sentence for a second, because it's insane. So we have not had a full week of school yet. I mean, if you watch my regular plan with me's or follow me on Instagram stories, you'll know that we've already had some illness in our household and already had some sick days from school but on top of that we have yet this is the first week of this whole entire school year where it's a full week of planned school which is insane uh this past week which are in right now which we just got through is was like the first uh was the last week of holidays there are actually no more planned holidays from off from school until thanksgiving um so this is the reason why since i've been doing stickering more than i initially thought i would in here and i really like that the functional stickering i forgot how much i like that this is why i'm thinking of just doing 1.5 inch columns for next month i just don't want to reprint the inserts that i already made that just like definitely does not seem worth doing <laughs> um, so for now they're just like not sized correctly but i actually think it turns out kind of nice i don't know about these date covers but we will get used to it and i'm actually going to write the numbers um next to it instead of on the date covers that way i don't have to write on the date covers so i can just go three Except that I just realized that these dates are all off anyway, so. <laughs> I, apparently this, week's, well, this week actually starts on the 4th, not on the 3rd, so that's my bad. Um, so I'm just going to fix this right now, and I don't like writing on top of the whiteout so much, so I think I'm going to grab some date dots. Okay, so I have these, which came with a really old order from ColourPop paper and I'm going to go ahead and use these to put over the date numbers here. Of course, like I can't get the dates right and that I just I printed that like and I actually printed this in back in early September when I first set this whole thing up. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, kids, full week of school. Full week of school for us means big kids every day, baby Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Super exciting. Um, trying to, you know, schedule myself with like a mix of work stuff, home stuff, relaxing, kid time, all that stuff. So trying to find a balance. Still a work in progress as we have not had, you know, a full day of school yet, a full week of school yet. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and change that. And hopefully it does not look too janky, but if it does, I'll probably just cover this whole thing with washi, to be honest. Um, but I'll see. I just, I can't stand writing on top of the, uh, writing on top of the whiteout. It's just so, it just never looks right. I don't know. I'm grateful for a whiteout, but I also feel like it just doesn't look right. And actually my handwriting, like, feel like matches that font fairly well. So anyway, we're going to go with that for right now and just see how much that drives me crazy later. Okay. So in this kit, we've got big checklists and four checklists. Let's see if a four checklist sits, fits in here or if I need to cut it down. I mean, that's close enough. I think we'll just stick with four. Although I feel like, I mean, I feel like I usually only end up doing three. Um, and do I want some patterns in there? Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to cut one of those off um, or I'll cut the big ones down actually. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. So the way that this is going to work is this top section is for like appointments and stuff like that. And I just realized that this kit is rose gold and the washi that I pulled out is gold. So I'm not going to use that. Um, I'll get more washi if I need more washi. Nope, I'm wrong again. This kit is gold. It's impossible to see under the lights. Anyway, okay. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, the, the kiddos all are in school. So I can usually get more work stuff done on those days. So I'm going to put down three checklists for those days. So that is great. And I, this one is on really crooked, so I'm going to try and get that off. This paper is like better than regular printer paper, um, for stickers, but it's, it's still, I don't know. It's, I'm such a paper snob. It's, it's tough. <laughs> uh, it's not the best paper, but it's good enough. And also for printing myself, it's really good. Okay. So I'm going to add in some headers to go with that as well. Cause I think that'll be, that will be fun. And I'll just kind of like put them off to the side here a little, um, which is kind of, you know, make it look like a little bit of a, a header situation, um, which it is. And then I can write on these if I want, but they're foiled, so I might not. I could also, like I said, grab scripts, but I'm not going to add scripts in, at least not yet. Um, we'll see how this goes. Okay. Anyway, so that is my three checklist. And then on Mondays, I have my regular Monday work, so I can go ahead and just put that in as number one. And I, okay, I can spell. Um, and I've actually been putting like the two steps from that in at once. So basically I write something and then it goes to editors and then I have to like incorporate those editors edits and then it goes to a second editor. Um, I have a lot of editors, so, which is hilarious. I was a math major in college and I actually like never, I wrote like one paper that was like any length and in my whole college career. And now I write regularly as part of work, which is kind of insane. Okay. So then that is, that works for work. I don't know what my other stuff is going to be. Um, on Tuesday we have a couple things going on. I'm just deciding what I want to use here. So I'm going to use this and then, um, I am going to also grab another sticker maybe this little one here. Okay. So I'm put, Oh, except oh, I meant to put that up here. Okay. <laughs> I am a little bit discombobulated. It has been so long since I've done a talk through style plan with me. So you're going to have to just bear with me uh, here. Okay. We're just going to run this and I'm not going to do the whole every other thing. I just want them both like starting on this side. So in the morning before school, my daughter has OT, uh, which is occupational therapy, if you don't know. And then I actually have a work call at 12. 
Um, I don't do a lot of calls or anything for work, so I am going to just put that in up in the appointments so that I don't forget. Um, and it's right up there with the appointments. Then this Saturday, it's also, not it's also, um, we have a couple things going on. One, the kids have a flu shot drive up clinic is at 1130 the big kids the baby has already had her flu shot and as have I um, but this is the date for the older kids so we are gonna take them to get their flu shots and then my big kid also has soccer okay so that is everything we've got going on there on Sunday at the, some point at the end, at the bottom, whatever you want to call it, I'm just going to write my usual, Sunday usual, meal prep and school prep. So we just get ready for the week. So nice to have it in the planner, even though like obviously we do it every week. I don't, we don't really have too much growing on other than that this week. I might just do that and trim it off at the top. Okay, and then I'm gonna give myself some longer checklists, the fours for the other, for the days that they, the kiddos are still in school. And I'm actually just gonna put them in the middle of the day for each day. Um, and I, like I said, so I wanna make this so that I can add to it uh, as needed. Um, I have a few more things to add in as well. Oh, that's the wrong color. Okay, so let me grab a green one for Friday. On Thursday, we have our cleaning people are coming. So I have to, I usually do like errands on Thursdays because of that, because I don't, I can't be home when they're home. So we can do this one like this. Um, and I don't know what errands I will have, but we can get it set up. Leave these all for to do's during the day. Okay, and more appointments and stuff will probably come up. And then these all get to be meals. And on Thursdays, what do we got here? This fit like does not need to be a half box, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. On Thursdays we do take out. So I'm gonna mark that. And I don't know what we'll do. Okay. So that goes like that. Um, and then there is like a square checklist. So I could use that. Uh, maybe I'll put that here. I'm gonna trim this stuff at the top down. And there's no habit trackers in here, so that's fine. So I don't need that. Um, Okay, so that is how we get this all set up for the week ahead. Like I said, I don't know too much going in advance, but mostly I am just going to enjoy uh, that going on there. So this will fill up more throughout the week. And if you want to see what that looks like all filled up, check me out on Instagram. So the last thing to do is to go ahead and pop this back into my planner. So here is the planner. Okay, first up, stickers gonna go in here so that I can keep using them throughout the week. Let me zoom out just a little. And then this 
with the back cover um, it's gonna just slide right in uh, the issue that I'm having is because this is the last week this is the page that's taped to the back cover so for this week and this week only it's just gonna have to go in where I will have to slide it out to write on the second half of that week but after this week that won't be a problem and next month with the way I printed it I don't think that'll be a problem anyway I'm actually gonna leave the pen out for now but otherwise it would go right there but then I can get that all close up and that is everything so if you enjoyed getting to see my functional planner let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more functional stuff let me know in the comments below etc uh, otherwise I will catch up with you in my next memory plan with me bye